Ugh. Okay, I know what that is, but uh, yeah. it still looks weird to me. What's up, you beautiful people out there? It's me, Uchet, and today we're going to be reacting to Life Noggin's newest video. Life Noggin is a YouTuber who makes very interesting science videos, and that stuff really interests me. And this is the most interesting one so far. Now, I have never done a Life Noggin reaction video before, so this is the first time just because the title is just so. Uh, interesting to me. For example, the human body always does errors and um, it always does mistakes. Like, it, it's never perfect. And I always ask myself why that was. Like, what's the reason? Why are we not perfect, right? So, without any further ado, let's check this out. But before we do, let me just check my camera. Okay. <laughs> I'm so well, bummed for this. Noggin. Nugget? Uh, it's Noggin. It's been a long yeah, we don't need the, the title. Uh, lyrics, thanks. To the walking, talking, problem solving, sometimes internet obsessed humans of today. Along the way, our bodies have adapted and evolved to survive in different environments. But some of these changes have led to some noticeable problems. I brought in a friend to help me trash talk humans for a little. He's known for gamifying the oh. kingdom over on his channel. And his name is Tierzu. Hey, Blocko. Animator, you didn't give him a face? That's just this channel icon. Just so you know, there's some odd looking well, stuck floating through your portal. It's not oh, easy yeah, to make face find his animations. Way back to his channel in like a month or so. Anyway, you're one of those squishy meat puppets called humans. You want to give some insight on how badly the devs mess these characters up? Gladly. Humans are definitely one of the most overpowered creatures to ever walk the earth. But huh? Humans are really? Flawless. If we're talking about human problems that desperately need a patch, we have to talk about our backs and internal organs. All right, let's do that. On all fours to just two feet was a huge adjustment to our bodies. Our backs went from being arched with our intestines hanging down and supported by stomach muscles to an S shape in order to simultaneously support our weight and accommodate the birth canal, with our intestines now resting on top of other organs. Not only does this result in back pain from having to support so much weight in a very sturdy configuration, humans happen to be the only mammals where the vertebrae will spontaneously fracture, but sometimes our intestines oh, will pop out of a weak cavity and create a hernia. Another way our evolution An hernia. to homo sapiens that does not sound good. Mammals is the size of our offspring. Human babies are about 6% the size of their mother, while chimp mm. and gorilla babies are around half that. Our bigger brains are a oh, large part of the problem huh. here. In addition to making childbirth more difficult and painful, that's gotta hurt, right? Our bigger heads leave less room for our teeth, which is why many of us need to have our wisdom teeth removed. There are also some traits we have wow. that were once critical but are now unnecessary, like male nipples or the tailbone. Even hiccups are a remnant of our past. They're caused by muscles quickly pushing the glottis down, which blocks the airway to the lungs. Okay, I know what that is, but uh, yeah. that still looks weird to me. Water using gills and on land using lungs, but it's useless now. So and sisters, so huh? scientists are still trying to figure out why some traits seem to linger longer than others. In a 2009 study, they looked over 150 years worth of research on the subject, which included over 80 individual animal studies. From their review, they identified a few factors that determine how quickly traits are lost. For example, traits that require a lot of energy to develop or maintain are more quickly phased out, while those requiring major genetic changes take a lot longer. Maybe that could explain why even though we lost our fur, the erector pili muscles in our skin still contract to give us goosebumps when we're cold in a fruitless attempt to warm us up. I guess when your body Oh, that's what it's for? Billion years to get from a single -cell to wow, that's where we get goosebumps? Today, annoying or Finally no, bro. Eons ago are going to be unavoidable. Honestly, the next human hotfix can't come soon enough. It's been long overdue. Humans too better have even more dogs in it, or I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. So, what are some human traits you want to see patched? How can we make humans better? Personally, I would say wings, but that's just me. Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to Tierzu for being a part of this video. He makes incredible videos on the animal kingdom over on his channel. Definitely go there and subscribe and tell him Blocko sent you. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget. All right, that was pretty interesting. Man, but the, the fact that I know, finally know, what the heck, um, the goosebumps are for. 
I've been asking myself that question for so long, and I finally have the answer for that. So uh, this was not a waste of time, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to Life Noggin. So if you guys want to see more of this type of reaction, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and activate that beautiful bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.